In your ZAMP Solar Roof Mount Kit, we've included everything you need to install your new system and to power your next off-grid adventure. Once you have this kit installed, it's easy to add an expansion kit or two if you need more power. Just mount the additional panel, plug it into the roof cap, and you're good to go. Before you install your ZAMP Solar Roof Mounted Kit, make sure you check the surrounding area for any safety hazards. Remove all metal from your person, including rings and other jewelry, and disconnect all power sources. Remember to cover the panels with a blanket or box until installation is complete to ensure that no power is generated during installation. Installations are safer and easier with two or more people working together. Before you begin, lay out the kit's components to make sure you're not missing anything. You should have the panel, installation guide, wiring harnesses, mounting feet, charge controller, and roof cap. First, scout out a convenient place for your charge controller inside your RV. It should be flat with a hollow space behind. There's usually a good spot near the electrical appliances such as the TV, fridge, or microwave. If you decide to mount your charge controller near the fridge, you may be able to feed the wires through the fridge vent rather than drilling a separate hole into your roof. The placement of the controller will help determine the location of your roof cap. Once you are happy with the charge controller placement, cut the hole for the controller. For a flush mount, you'll need to cut a hole five inches wide and four and a quarter inches tall. Be sure to wear safety glasses when cutting space for the charge controller. First, drill out the four corners. Finish with a saw, being careful not to cut any wires or components. Second, bring the panel, roof cap, mounting hardware, and solar wire to the roof. The solar wire is the wire without an inline fuse. Arrange the panels on the roof, making sure they are clear of anything that might shade them, such as vents and air conditioning units. Install the mounting feet onto the panels along the frame. The feet can move up and down the frame to be clear of obstacles. When you are happy with the foot placement along the frame, tighten the nut to secure it to the panel. When you are satisfied with the placement of the panels, secure them in place and use a sealant like Dicor to ensure weather resistance. Screw the foot to the roof and cover each screw with sealant. Panels should be covered by a box or blanket to make sure no power is being generated from the panels. Finally, drill a hole in the roof above where the charge controller will be mounted inside the RV. Locate the three-port roof cap and solar wire. Flip the port upside down and find the terminal block. Strip the bare ends of the solar wire. Insert the red positive solar wire into the corresponding terminal and repeat with black negative solar wire. Then tighten the wires down with a flathead screwdriver. Feed the solar wire down through the hole in the roof. Grab and pull the solar wire that was fed through the ceiling down to the charge controller mounting space. You may need to do a bit of fishing to locate the wire. Mark the solar wire coming in from the ceiling to differentiate it from the battery wire. Attach the roof cap with the supplied gasket or a thin line of sealant around the perimeter and screw it down. Cover each screw with a sealant. From the charge controller mounting space, feed the battery wire down to the battery. You may find a small hole where other electrical wires leave the interior of the RV and exit to the exterior. If you do not see this type of hole, you may need to drill one. Once the wires are below the RV, you are ready to connect and mount your charge controller. The charge controller monitors your battery's charge level and regulates the energy flowing from the solar panels to the battery. It also ensures the battery will not overcharge. Fasten the red positive solar wire, which you have previously marked, onto the positive charge controller terminal, followed by the negative solar wire and terminal. Repeat with the positive and negative battery wire. Mount the charge controller to the wall with the included screws. With all wires connected and the controller mounted, head down below the RV to run the battery wire from where it exits the RV to the battery box. You may be able to follow other wires running along the underbelly. 
If you do not see a bundle to follow, just ensure you secure the wires to the underside of the RV so they don't get snagged while driving. Once you reach the battery bank, remove the lids and connect the red positive wire to the positive battery terminal and the negative wire to the negative battery terminal. If you have more than one battery, you'll want to charge your batteries across the entire battery bank. Follow the diagram to see how to connect your batteries. With the panel still covered, plug the SAE leads into the roof port. With all connections made, remove the cover from the panels and begin charging your batteries. Once the charge controller is lit up and working, set the controller to match your battery type. Cycle through different battery types by pressing the battery type button until you see your type on the bottom of the LCD display. We have solar panels available in a wide range of sizes that you can mix and match to fit your unique power and space needs. Now, nothing can hold you back from your next adventure. Zamp Solar, giving you the power to explore.